Hi, this is Kevin Garlington, and today I want to talk about when to play offense and defense. I get this question a lot. You know, if you're on the run, should you be playing offense or defense? A lot of times you see the pros, sometimes they play offense on the run, and sometimes they play defense. So I want to break it down into two areas where you can simply understand when to play offense and when to play defense. So first, one, when to play offense. My rules for playing offense are when I'm balanced, meaning that I'm not having to move too much to the ball, I'm set up. Another rule is when either my opponent hits a weaker shot or it's shorter in the court. These are great times to play offense, meaning that I can go down the line or put a little bit more on the ball. Times to play defense. Defense is played when you're in trouble, possibly moving off the court, or your opponents just hit a very deep, difficult shot that you want to give yourself time. The reason why we need to know when to play offense and defense, because if you don't know when to play offense and defense, you're going to make more mistakes playing offense when you should be playing defense. And you're going to lose some opportunities playing defense when you could be playing offense. Now, we're going to run through a couple of situations so you can have a better handle of when to play offense and defense. Again, you play offense when you're set up your balance or your opponent gives you a short or weaker ball. You play defense when you're off balance, running, trying to gain more time. One more thing I want to talk about is what is offense and what is defense when you're talking about hitting the ball. Offense usually means that you're either going to take some time away from your opponent, you might add more pace to the ball, or you might move in to close the point off with a volley or overhead. Defense means I'm going to lift the ball, possibly adding spin and slowing the ball down so I have more time to get myself back in the court and hopefully have an opportunity to either neutralize your opponent's attack or play some offense because your defense has given you the opportunity to move into the court. First, we're going to go over offense. And again, we're going to play offense when we get either a shorter ball or a ball that has nothing on it or has, doesn't have as much on it. So how do you know this? Usually when you get a shorter ball, you're going to be inside the court. What I call is playing inside and outside of the court. If I'm inside the court, it's a great opportunity to play offense, meaning that I'm inside the baseline by a couple steps. Usually if I'm on the baseline or behind the baseline, this is where I'm going to either go trying to neutralize, meaning just give myself enough time, not playing offense or defense, to stay in the point. If I'm way behind the baseline or moving, this is where I'm going to play defense. So let me show you exactly the ball I'm looking for that will cause me to play offense. This is a short ball, and it allows me to move forward, put some pressure on my opponent. Also, it doesn't have anything on it. Now, let's look at the opposite, a ball that's going to cause me to play some defense. OK, you see how that ball moved me back? Also, my response to that ball was to lift the ball, gain some time. Another uh, ball that could be difficult is when it's moving or very hard and low. This is also a ball we're going to play defense off of. Okay, it wouldn't be a good choice to play offense on this ball because of two reasons. A, I wouldn't have time to get back in the court, and B, it's more difficult to hit a shot on the run like this. So, just to wrap up, make sure you understand the difference of when to play offense or defense. Okay, a good drill for this is to call the ball either deep or short when in practice. So if I'm rallying, if I have a coach working with me, they'll feed the ball and I'm going to call deep or short. Short. Okay, and then deep. This is a great drill to bring more awareness to your hitting and understanding when the ball's deep or short. Hope you use this tip. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it below and check out uh, Forehand Domination or TotalTennisToGame.com for more information to help your tennis game. Thank you.